Hello everyone, it's Miss Celeste from the library again. I hope you're enjoying your summer so far and getting outside as much as possible. Uh, today you might just be sitting back and reading a book or just relaxing. So if that's the case, I hope you find this book a lot of fun. I'm going to read a comic called Battle of the Superheroes. And it is written by Yale Stewart, who is the author. And it is illustrated also by Yale Stewart. So the same person that wrote this also drew the pictures. So we're going to begin chapter one. So born among the stars, raised on planet Earth with incredible powers, he became the world's greatest superhero. These are the amazing adventures of Superman. Chapter one, a new enemy. For once, the city is calm in Gotham City. High above Batman's hometown, a blue and red object streaks through the sky. It's Superman. What a great night, the hero says. I love flying through Gotham City on my way home to Metropolis. Boom! An explosion from below rattled Superman's ears. What was that, he asked. I better find out. Superman quickly lands on the street. Someone is destroying the city. It's none other than Batman. Chapter 2, An Old Friend What are you doing? Superman asks his friend. Having a little fun, Batman says, rushing at Superman. He strikes the Man of Steel with his fist. Kaboom! The mighty blow sends Superman across the street. Where did Batman get that strength, the hero asks himself. Superman doesn't have time to think. Batman charges him again. A red and yellow tornado suddenly appears. It twirls right into Batman. The gust sends Batman through a nearby building. When the tornado stops, the fastest man alive stands in its place. What's wrong with Batman? asks the Flash. I'm not sure, replies Superman, but he needs to be stopped and quick. Quick should be a problem. Right here you see the Flash, the Flash says with a smile. On the next street over, the heroes spot Batman inside the Batmobile. You're not getting away that easily, says the Flash. Superman grabs Batman from the high-tech car. Got you, the hero says. This battle ends here. Battle? What battle? Batman asks, puzzled. I'm on the trail of Clayface. Clayface? The Flash asks. The shape-shifting supervillain? The one and only, says Batman. The hero points at a muddy trail leading into the sewer. And he slipped away again, so this must be where Clayman went. Superman realizes he wasn't fighting Batman. He was fighting Clayface in disguise. I'm sorry, Batman, he says. Save the apologies, guys, says Batman. He lifts the manhole cover from the street. We've got a bigger mess to clean up. Chapter 3, Time for Change In the sewer, the three heroes find Clayface. He is still disguised as Batman. Stop right there, they shout at the sneaky villain. Clayface spins. You three should still be fighting each other, shouts the mud man. We've solved our differences, said Batman. Yes, says Superman, smiling. People change. You can say that again, Clayface shouts. The villain changes into a hulking, mud-cased beast. He attacks the heroes. Oh, gosh. Batman flings a batarang at the villain. The metal weapon sinks deep into Clayface's gooey body. My weapons are useless, says Batman. Stand back, Superman shouts. The hero takes a deep breath. He lets out the chill of an arctic wind. <sighs> In an instant, Clayface he freezes in his tracks. Later, on the street above, the heroes hand over Clayface to the Gotham City Police. The villain is frozen in a solid block of ice, so it looks like Superman's breath did actually work. He'll have plenty of time to chill out, says Batman. Maybe he'll have time to change, too, Superman adds, for the better. Well, I have to run, the Flash says, dashing away. Until our next amazing adventure, Superman tells Batman. The heroes shake hands tightly. They test each other's mighty strength. Don't push it, old pal, Batman says. And so a city and a great friendship is saved. So that's the end of the story. But look right here. We have Superman's secret message. It says, hey kids, when a problem is too difficult for one person, what's the best way to solve it? And it says here, use the code below to solve the secret message. So let's try to decipher it. So this first character looks like down here it might be a T. So T, 
we go to the next character. Hmm. What could that be? Could it be the E, I think? T-E. Okay. The next character looks like an A. So the A, T-E-A, so far. This character looks like, hmm, an M. So far, so far we have T-E-A-M, teen. This character here looks like two I's to me, but it's a W, okay? And then this character here, hmm, let's see, where is that? T oh, okay. And this character here looks like an R. And this character here looks like a K, maybe? K. T E A M W O R K. Teamwork. So when a problem is too difficult for one person, the best way to solve it is teamwork or working together with others, which which is a great idea. Let's look at some of the um, descriptions of the words that we read, or some of the definitions, I should say. So apologies. It's an act of saying you're sorry for some for something. So we all have apologies, or we all give apologies when we're at, when we're with friends or at school or just out in, in general. Arctic is something that's very cold and wintry. Batarang. So you may know what that is. It's a metal bat-shaped weapon used by Batman. Disguise. So dressing in a way that hides who you really are. Sometimes we disguise ourselves in Halloween. Sewer, an underground pipe that carries away liquid and waste. So sometimes you'll see as you're walking in the street a grate in the road and the water goes down it, that would be going down into the sewer. Supervillain is a very evil person. And tornado is a whirling funnel-shaped cloud that travels over land and usually causes damage. So that's it for today. I hope you like this comic, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day.